The trial judge or sheriff will explain more about the trial process once the jury has been selected. You must not make any inquiries regarding the case on your own or discuss the case with anyone except your fellow jurors and you must never post details of the case on any social media. Before a case begins, the clerk of court has the responsibility to advise all potential jurors of the ballot procedure and the court sitting times. The clerk will give you an opportunity to tell them if you have any issues in relation to serving as a juror. For example, you may have a family holiday booked for the near future. After the clerk has concluded their speech, the trial will begin. Every trial starts with the selection of the jury from the pool of potential jurors. After the case is called, the clerk will take out 15 slips at random from a bowl and call out the name and number on each slip. If your name is called, you should make your way to the jury box at the front of the court and take a seat. When all 15 jurors are in the jury box, the court clerk will call out each name again as a check. The charges in the case will then be read to the jury and the jury will be put on oath. Any special defence lodged by the accused will also be read over to the jury at this stage. Once the evidence has been completed, the Crown, defence and the judge will make statements to the jury and you will then leave the court and enter the jury room. In the jury room, you will select a jury spokesperson and discuss the evidence and arrive at a verdict. The verdicts available to the jury will have been explained by the judge. It is a criminal offence for anyone to disclose information about the jury room discussions or to divulge any individual juror's opinions. When you come back to the courtroom, the clerk will ask the spokesperson to deliver the verdict on each charge. When this has been done, your task is over. If the accused has been found guilty, the judge may pass sentence immediately or adjourn the case for reports, in which case sentence is passed at a later date. The judge will then discharge you and thank you for your attendance. After you have completed your jury service, you may be entitled to claim expenses for attending court. This can include travel expenses and loss of earnings. The claim form and guidance are available from the website or by contacting the court. If you need advice or assistance, please contact the Sheriff Clark's office. The telephone number, address and email address are on your jury citation. Thank you for your attention and for taking your civic responsibility seriously.